best volunteer practices. There's a growing demand for passionate, caring, reliable volunteers. Local unions, churches, nonprofits, community groups, and candidates for office are desperate for help. The problem is there's a shortage of folks who are truly reliable. The majority of people do not know how to volunteer correctly. That is why so many nonprofit organizations struggle to keep volunteers. Many have resorted to placing articles on their website explaining to interested candidates how to be a good volunteer. These organizations have certain expectations. Applicants often fall short of what is expected, or they burn out and don't return. And that's not good for anyone. Step one is to pick a cause you care about and pour yourself into it. Complete any training prerequisites prior to showing up. Arrive on time and be flexible. We hear the saying, be a team player. What does that really mean? It's about following the rules, dressing properly for the assignment, and treating others with respect. Next, take initiative. The person tasked with directing volunteers is probably overworked. It can be a little like herding cats. They might not have the luxury to explain every detail in advance. It might help to take notes when given instructions in case they don't return. It's often about results, not necessarily how to get from point A to point B. Figure it out. Earn a reputation as a problem solver. You'll be invaluable to any organization. Be as energetic as you can be, positive and patient. This is a time to share our unique skills, knowledge, and abilities. Focus on strengths. Hopefully, they'll offer a few choices as to what activities to perform. If not, don't hesitate to ask. Better to sink your teeth into a project you'll enjoy than stuck working in an area that doesn't interest you. A few words about burnout. It's a real problem. Avoid burning out by starting with a small commitment and building up from there. Be careful not to overcommit.